functions are almost always a good idea, just like using tabs for indentation. And pure functions have two properties that make them pure. They always return the same values, given the same arguments, and they cause no side effects. Let's look at the first point. Here's an example. We have an add function that takes a and b as input and returns the sum. Now, no matter how many times you call add with the same arguments, you'll get the same result. I'll add with two and three, one trillion times in a loop, and you'll go crazy waiting for anything but five as the result. Now let's take a look at a similar but impure example. First, we'll declare a global variable called result and set it equal to zero. Next, we'll define a function called add to result. Now this one only takes one input, we'll call it A. The first thing it does is declare that the result value, or I should say the result variable, is a global variable. In Python, this is required just so that we're allowed to access that global variable from within a function. Next, we'll add A to the result and return that sum. Now, the interesting thing about this function is that every time you call it, even with different inputs, you could potentially get a different result. For example, the first time I call add to result with, say, the number five, I expect to get back five because we're going to add zero to five and return it. But if I call add to result again with the input five, I won't get five, and that's what makes it impure. Because the result variable now has five in it already, we'll be adding five to five and we'll get back 10. And this is why pure functions are so convenient to use in the majority of cases. Every time you call them with the same inputs, you expect the same outputs. You don't have to worry about there being hidden random number generators, uh, the state of a database, or whether or not an internet connection is available in order for the function to work as expected. And because they're predictable, they're easy to test and debug. You can write an entire suite of unit tests for a pure function, and assuming they pass, you can expect, not just expect, but they will work the same way in production given the same inputs. If you've ever experienced the, well, it works on my machine meme, that's not a problem with pure functions. Impure functions are the ones that made that meme popular. So if pure functions are so great, then why don't we just make all functions pure? Well, by definition, pure functions can't have side effects. And a program that has no side effects is effectively useless. It just makes your computer heat up, but to no result. If your program has no side effects, it can't even print to the console. It can't access the internet. It can't update a database. It can't even draw buttons on a screen. So what should you do? Well, my rule of thumb is I try to make as many of my functions that can reasonably be pure, I try to keep them pure. And I try to keep the number of side effects in my code contained to just a few places, usually somewhere near the top level of my code. That way, when other developers are working with my code, it's obvious where the side effects are and everything else is fairly easy to test and debug.